KPIX 5 News begins with Bay Area seniors fighting for their pot. They want to know why their city is making it so hard to get medical marijuana. Right now, a group of Walnut Creek retirees are rallying at a city council meeting. The city's taken a tough approach to marijuana since it became legal. And KPIX 5 political reporter Melissa Kane says that is putting seniors who rely on marijuana in a tough spot. Melissa? Yeah, Ken and Liz, we are here at Walnut Creek City Hall, where right now the city council is meeting, and tonight they're going to vote on a proposal to allow two medical marijuana delivery services in the city. And earlier today, we talked to some local retirees who say they want their medical marijuana and they vote. They just don't want to, to you know, be seen as stepping too far out, out on a limb, which, in our opinion, there's, there's no limb. I mean, I mean, there's not even a tree. Uh, voters in the city of Walnut Creek endorsed legalizing marijuana by 61 percent. Still, the city council has not allowed the sale of recreational or medical marijuana. Residents of Rossmore Retirement Community say they rely on medical cannabis. It really helps me sleep. I feel nothing, just relaxed, and I go to sleep. For her anxiety, um, depression, and it allows them to stop taking other medication. Taking medical marijuana is a wonderful way to get away from opioids. The Medical Marijuana Club at Rossmore has an email list of more than a thousand names, and the club's founder, Renee Lee, says it's growing. Having between um, 150 to 200 people coming to our group meetings and 30 to 40 new people every month since probably last November. But a few months ago, they hit a roadblock. Well, up until January this year, we had a delivery service which would come right to your home and deliver whatever you needed and just call them on the phone that came the next day. Now I have to go into Oakland. A number of Rossmore residents don't drive. And so what has happened to the delivery and access in Walnut Creek? It's one of the new laws that became enacted on January 1st is that in order to retail cannabis, that company now needs to have written permission from the city in which they operate. Before Prop 64, the state regulated medical marijuana. Now local governments do. Cannabis is far less accessible out here than it was just in December. Tonight, the city council here will vote on whether to allow two medical marijuana dispensaries that will only deliver, no storefronts. A buyer says it's far from ideal, but it's a step in the right direction. And the Rossmore retirees are confident that the city council will listen to them. After all, they need cannabis and the city council members need re-election. We, we do vote and we agitate. Now, we spoke to several members of the city council and they told us that they're withholding their decision on this proposal until they hear what members of the public have to say at this hearing tonight. Ken? Yeah, you heard the woman there uh, talking about some new regulations that don't allow them to get those deliveries. A lot of these retirees, they can't travel, they can't drive. How are they getting their medical marijuana? Well, it's not easy. Right now, there's only one company that has a special certification to deliver here. The company has to come all the way from San Francisco. They only deliver twice a week, and they have a $100 minimum order. So, as you might imagine, folks here are really eager to get a local, more accessible, potentially cheaper alternative. All right, okay. we'll follow the vote tonight. Melissa Kane in Walnut Creek. Thank you, Melissa.